Hey everybody, so I'm just leaving Dollar Tree. Um, this is a Dollar Tree that I don't frequent because I don't like the um, the area too much. <laughs> and it's been confirmed. I thought I was just talking out the you know, side of my head or whatever, but no, it's the truth. I don't like this area. Like there's this man sitting in the car and this lady parked like somewhere behind me, right? And she was walking into the store. Mind you, she's not with this man. He's honking a horn, honking a horn, honking a horn. I'm like, are you kidding me? Anyway, remember when I told you guys I went to this one Dollar Tree that's close by my house. Actually, it's the closest one to my house. And they have the Dollar Plus section. And when I talked to the people, they said that they have, I think, three stores at least in Minnesota that has the Dollar Plus section. Well, I just found the second one. That's why I turned the camera back on. So yes, I just found the second one and I actually picked up a few things. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a haul in just a minute. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I had to shower, change, and things like that. Woo wee. Um, <laughs> Cause what you saw me in, that's actually what I had on for the fourth. And um, I have just threw that on so I could take Miss Peanut to work and get gas. And then while I was out getting gas, I decided to stop at Dollar Tree. So I actually have a big haul to show you. Majority of it is um, Miss Peanut related. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I have Walmart, Dollar Tree, um, thrift store, and I think that is it. So let me start with the Walmart pieces first. I know you want to see Dollar Tree. I'll show you Dollar Tree last. But let me start with Walmart pieces first. Um, and I also have some items that I picked up for myself that I want to show you. So I will show you that as well. Matter of fact, since I have it in my hand, let me show you this. So <clears throat> when we went to Wisconsin, um, we went to Wisconsin, uh, you know, just to kind of spend the day, family time. Uh, you know, because we haven't really been able to do a lot of family stuff lately. And so it was just kind of, you know, nice to be able to spend some time together. So we went to Walmart while we were over there. We went to uh, Target. We went to Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree was actually, <clears throat> excuse me, my asthma, y'all. Um, we went to Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree was actually closed. So anyway, I only got something at Walmart. I did not get anything at um Target, but I want to show you the cute little items I got. Um, they're more Afrocentric, I guess you could say. And I didn't pay a lot for them. Um, let me see here. So the lanyard it says proud on it, and as you can see, it has the red, black, green, and yellow on it. And that is, you know, for, um, I guess you would say Juneteenth. So it says proud and beautiful as opposed to black and beautiful. But anyway, so that was regular price, $5. I got it for two. Then I got, um, let me see here. It doesn't tell me which is which. And I can't really look at the numbers. But anyway, I got one necklace and earring set with the Africa symbol for $2, right? Then I got this one, which I thought was cute. This has rhinestones. This one was also $2. And then I got this one. Oh, I'm sorry. That one actually was $3. This one with the Nefertiti on it was $2. And then this one here with the elephant, y'all know I, I am a lover of elephants. This one was regular price of $5. And so I'm not sure um, why they actually put that in, but I mean, I guess elephants are in Africa too. But anyway, so I got those. I thought those were really cute. They're cute for gifts, but you know, um, I'm always, you know, a stickler for some earrings and you know, these would be perfect to kind of just put in my purse. Whenever I'm, you know, running around, don't have no earrings on. Um, so, yes, I got those. Uh, and then I also picked up some new nails. I will be doing my nails um, after after I rest today. 
So, and I got two of the same. So, they look like this. Really cute. They're the gel kiss nails. And I love the colors. I like that ombre look. And the glitter. I am, I love glitter. So, I thought I'd do that. Um, <clears throat> husband and I are going to be having a kid-free week. <laughs> Woo, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 And um, <laughs> I am excited. And so I figure, you know, I'm going to do my nails. I'm actually going to do my hair or try to do my hair and then, you know, go on from there. So I wanted to make sure I had some nails. Um, I do have another set of nails, but they're a little longer and I want something a little shorter. So I picked those up. Oh, I'm glad y'all cannot see me because, honey, this dress is actually kind of short. And the way I'm sitting, Lord have mercy. Okay, next up, <laughs> let me show you. Well, let me finish with Walmart. Um, I went and picked up a few items for Miss Peanut. And this is not all of them because I think she's been in this bag. Uh... You know, some things that she can, like, put on in the house as well as just, you know, run around or whatever. So, Miss Peanut really likes these tank tops. The tank tops with the skinny straps, right? And they're adjustable. Um, and I can't remember. Oh, the receipt is not in here. But anyway, I think I got these on sale. I think I got them for $2 and not $3.48. But I got her gray. She got black. She got a army green and a, I don't know, coral, dark coral color. So I got her for those because she likes to, um, she, now she won't go outside with this on unless she has something covering it. But, um, it, you know, for like sleeping and just kind of hanging out in the house, she likes to have those. And then Miss um, Peanut likes basketball shorts. And I found these actually in the men's section. These are more soft. Um they they were regular price six ninety eight and I got them for five dollars a piece. So she got a black pair and they have pockets, and then she also got like a blue pair. Um, now yes, I do buy my daughter you know men's shorts because this is perfect for like sitting around the house or cleaning or sleeping. Um, because I don't typically get her short shorts. I mean, she did get some recently, but you know, they're for at home purposes. Uh, now, she does have on a pair of her shorts that I got her um, Saturday, but these ones, yeah, she has on the dark color because she got two pairs of Levi's and then a regular pair of, what are these called, Time and True. So, this is the light color jeans here, jean shorts. And like I said, these are Levi's. And these run sell for nine bucks. So she got another pair. They look just like this. They have the little um, fading part right here, but they're the darker color. So they're a little bit darker than these. These are time and true. And they have the little distressness on them. And then in the back as well. Now these are her first pair of button flies. I'm praying that these work out. But uh, the Walmart we went to, they had shorts nine bucks in her size i was like oh yes we uh husband and i went to walmart um like a week ago and i found her some jean shorts a little bit shorter than these but they were five bucks and i picked those up and she wore them both so i was like okay so she's starting to not that i want my daughter running around in like booty shorts but she's starting to get a little more comfortable uh with a shorter short because i mean you know from the time she was born up until really this year, uh, she has been in Bermuda shorts. So for her to have like a mid, well, no, I say to last year, she's been, you know, getting like more of a mid thigh. But I think the shorts that I bought her that were $5, they were a little shorter than mid thigh. Um, but they weren't like Daisy Duke. So anyway, so that's that. I think that's all of Walmart, right? Yeah. Okay, next up. The thrift store. So I went to a thrift store with my mom. Um, and, you know, we were looking for purses and, you know, clothes and whatever. And I came across this cute little set. It's called Milano and it's um, Italian. Um, regular price was $5.99. I got both pieces 20% off. So I think I paid like four or something. But this is a crossbody purse. 
okay? Nice size. It has a zipper in the back, right? Um, zipper on the inside. It has the zipper pocket. And it also has the pocket for, like, your cell phone, things like that. Um, it's really nice. I like how, you know, she can... Um, it, it will, like, separate. Also, there's a pocket in the front. Didn't show you that. But it also Velcros, right? And opens up this way as well. So I thought this was super cute. Perfect for a teenager. Um, I can't remember Milano. I've seen Milano before. But anyway, so I picked this up. And it's in immaculate condition. No rips, no tears, no stains. Perfect. So then I also found a matching crossbody bag. Same price, $5.99. I got 20% off. So it has a zipper pocket here. It has the, um, what do you call these, magnetic uh, closures in the front. And then it has two pockets right there. And then the inner pocket there. And I think they're, let me see. So it's just the inner pocket. And I thought this would be perfect um, for her, uh, her, camp that she's getting ready to go to. I was trying to think of a, a word for it. But um, anyway, so I got these pieces for her. You know, I paid like $10 and some change for the two. And I thought this would be perfect for her to take on her trip. Uh, Miss Pina is currently carrying a coach purse. And I don't want that purse to go with her on her trip. So I thought this would be perfect. Plus, you know, when she's going to class and stuff, she can, you know, keep her iPad with her or... um you know, her pens, notebooks, stuff like that. And she doesn't have to have... I was thinking she would need to carry, like, a backpack. But I forgot I had purchased that that crossbody um, messenger bag. So, that'd be that. So, before I get into the, uh, the rest of this, I wanted to talk to you about her, her camp. So, it's called the Minnesota Business Venture. It's going to be at the University of St. Thomas. I'm super excited. And so, I was trying to remember... Her packing list, like her packing list is extensive, my goodness, right? So it's the blue at the bottom. So as you can see, it's a lot of words. Um, so I was trying to remember what to, what to bring, what to take. And so, oh, so I'm looking, you mean tell me I didn't need to buy this? So, okay, it says packing list. It says already provided. And it says sheets, blanket, pillow, towel, washcloth. Um, I'm going to, because I just got an email from them. That's another reason why I'm bringing this up. So I'm going to email the lady just to verify because of how it's written on here. It says already provided. So anyway, it says toiletries to bring, you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, soap, deodorant. Um, she has shampoo, she has soap, she has deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste. We have all that downstairs. Um, clothing to bring, it says shorts, jeans, or casual pants, t-shirts, sweatshirts, school shirt for school spirit day. School shirt for school spirit day. Ooh, she doesn't have a school shirt. I mean, I guess you could take mine. Um, it says jacket in case of rain, pajamas and sleepwear, comfortable shoes, sandals, Shower shoes, optional, business attire for mock interviews, dress shirt, pants, skirt, shoes. So, Miss Pina not wearing no dress. She not wearing no skirt. But her her polo shirt that she wore for her other interview, I'll make sure she has that. And then um, she has some black pants she can take. So, I'll make sure she has that. Um, it says other items to bring. Proof of her COVID vaccination, face masks. Uh, medication, sunscreen, insect repellent. Oh boy. She don't do sunscreen because sunscreen breaks her out, makes her have highs. Insect repellent. I believe I have some in a, not the aerosol, but the other spray. So I have to look for that. If not, we'll have to go get some. It says alarm clock. She can use her cell phone. Um, it says smartphone or tablet and charger. So she'll take her phone and her iPad and her charger. Small flashlight or reading light. She has that downstairs. Extra snacks. Extra pillow. Okay. So it says extra pillow. I knew I read something about pillow. Blanket, towel, or robe. Frisbee, soccer ball, etc. for free time. Well, Miss Pina's all about her electronics at free time. So, child, I ain't got to worry about that. 
Um, so then it tells me the dress at the, the camp is comfortable and casual. Remember that you will meet with business professionals all week long and should strive to make a good first impression. Avoid offensive clothing and clothing that reveals undergarments. If it's not allowed at school, don't wear it to MBV. So that I don't have a problem with because Miss Peanut, she likes her graphic tees. So, and I did pick her up some graphic tees today. Um, I might have to go and pick her up another polo. I think her polo shirt was like $10. So maybe I'll pick up maybe one more of those. I'm not sure. So that'd be that, right? Okay. So I knew I read something about a pillow. So I went to Dollar Tree and I went to this different one that I don't normally frequent. But I found out it has a Dollar Plus section. So I may be going there again, but I'll have to go like when they first open because when... Is that after that time, it's horrible. But in the Dollar Plus, I found a Serta pillow for five bucks. So I thought that'd be cool. Plus, she needed a new pillow for her bed anyway, so this is perfect. But this will go with her on her trip. Uh, then <clears throat> I picked up, we needed washcloths. I mean, I don't know what's going on with the washcloths in this household, but my God. So they had this 12 pack of washcloths and it's light gray, white and dark gray, which I love because, you know, the colors in my bathroom, I do have gray in the bathroom. So I thought this would be perfect. And like I said, it's a pack of 12. I also picked up, <coughs> excuse me, Lord hell. So that pack of 12, uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on, I'm losing it here. I didn't realize stuff was falling. Um, so that pack of 12 was five bucks. Then I picked up two packs of three. I got black and I got blue. Um, husband loves black towel. I like the blue. So got those. Those were three dollars a piece. So basically a dollar a piece. Um, then, like I said, I did pick up Miss Peanut two graphic tees. So I got her Scooby Doo because she likes Scooby Doo. Matter of fact, she just had on a Scooby Doo shirt just the other day and it was red. So she got a black one now. And then I picked up Lion King. Because who doesn't love Hakuna Matata, right? So these were five bucks. Because I was planning to go to um, Five Below to look at some graphic tees there. And I told, <clears throat> excuse me, I told her I wanted to pick up at least two t-shirts for her, for her, you know, overnight or whatever. But, um, because, I mean, she's got shirts. I mean, that's one thing about Miss Pina. Miss Pina got shirts for days. But, um, anyway... I just wanted to make sure she had two new shirts, you know, because since I did, you know, pick up some shorts and stuff. So she's got those. Then I went ham, y'all. <clears throat> I picked her up some flip-flops to wear in the shower because, I mean, you know, you know, you know, you know. So I picked up these flip-flops. I know she's going to take her Crocs and um, I'll probably have her take a tennis shoe as well. But she's got some uh, flip-flops for the shower. I picked her up a bar of Dove soap for her face. I knew we had soap here at the house. I couldn't remember what all we had, but I picked up a pack of Kohl's. So I put this in her, uh, you know, a pack in her uh, bag. I also picked up some face masks and I picked up three packs. They're a pack of five each. That way they're already in the plastic and, you know, she can just have these in her bag because she's got to take masks. And I prefer her to have disposable as opposed to the cloth. So she's got her mask. That should be definitely enough. I picked up three of these. So I picked up one in each color. So I got a red one, right? I got a black one, which she probably could have used the black one I have. I have, I think I have two black ones. And then I picked up a white one. So one of these will hold her her face mask, one will hold her toiletries, and one will hold her hair, her hair stuff. Um, I picked up a comb for her. I picked up some uh hair hair ties and headbands. Cause sometimes she likes to wear her hair pushed back. Which I, you know, don't mind. So she's got, you know, I was trying to find the all black ones. And I was wondering if I had some brand, I think I have some brand new ones somewhere. But, you know, between my room, her room, the bathroom, and my office, 
hair stuff be everywhere. I'm just keeping it real. So I just picked these up and she can, you know, pick and choose what colors. And then like sometimes she'll, um, I don't know if she'll be able to do it now. Before she got her hair cut just a couple weeks ago, I was able to take her hair and split it into two ponytails. She still can, they'll just be little shorter tails. But I picked those up so she had those as well. I picked her up a satin pillowcase just in case if she um, leaves her bonnet at home. And it says sweet dreams on it. Okay. And then the last stuff that I picked up from Dollar Tree, these are actually for myself and my mom. Um, excuse me. I was watching, is it called Sensational Finds? Mm, her name is Sarah. She's really good. Goes to Dollar Tree all the time. She does great DIYs. Oh my gosh, I just love watching her. Anyway, she has showed something in her one of her videos, Dollar Tree videos, and I had picked some up, but then I never showed it. And then I showed my mom, and my mom was like, oh, and then my mom got one. And then after she got it, she got home, she tried it, she said she loved it, so she wanted another one. So I picked her up too, and I picked myself up too. But it's these mini razors, and they come in a case. Really cute. So I picked up two for myself and two for my mom. Um, I actually already have two. I have uh, one that's in my purse, and then I also have one that I haven't used. So now I have three that are brand new. Um, but these are perfect for, you know, those quick, oh, my, I got a little stubble on my legs. Let me hurry up and, you know, um, or if you are a person like myself who suffers from polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, you tend to get those, um, little whiskers and things. And so, you know, some people say, oh, you shouldn't shave it because it comes back thicker. Well, if you continue to do it, I mean, well, whatever. So, um, it's nice to have, like, when you're on the go and you're, you know, you happen to look at yourself like, oh, wait, and then, you know, need to clean up a little something, something, something. So, yes, I got this, got these, you know, for that purpose. Um, uh, my mom says she liked the razor. She said it was really nice. Um, I do believe that I saw on Sarah's video that, uh, Amazon also has like a compact razor that you can get. Um, but this is perfectly fine. Dollar 25 as opposed to waiting for shipping and all that stuff. Boom, I got it. So that'd be that, y'all. Um, just want to show you some things that I got uh for Miss Peanut and everything. I will be begin to start packing up for her. Uh I'm you know, I told her, you know, by Friday. We'll definitely be going through like underclothes and all that stuff and getting stuff washed and, you know, because she leaves on Sunday. She has to be there according to the email and the paperwork. Uh, Check-in is at 11, 11 a.m. at the college. So, and she'll be there from Sunday to Friday. So, that is going to be super, super duper exciting. Um So, oh, and just if you want to know, I mean, I, I guess I could throw this in here too, but it says, you know, what are their, you know, pandemic protocols? And it says all students, staff, and volunteers staying on campus <clears throat> must be fully vaccinated to attend the camp, um, which she is. So she has her card. Um, it says students should bring a mask to camp. Um, the, the camp does not require masks, but both the university and... Both the universities have, because there, there's going to be camps at two different universities. She's going to be closer to the cities. Um, she said they have numerous protocols that include sanitizing, social distancing, and wearing masks in certain areas. These guidelines can change with little noise, so it's best to come prepared. So they may or may not need to wear the mask, but knowing Miss Peanut, being around people she don't know, she's going to wear a mask. Um, students may not leave the campus. Um, it says, do they need to bring money? It says it's not necessary since um, the application fee includes all expenses, housing, and meals. However, some students choose to bring extra money to buy items from the college store, snacks from the vending machines, etc. Um, then it tells us, you know, how we can contact our kid and says, uh, what are dorms like? Students stay in the dorms with one roommate. This year, the dorms at her college are all air-conditioned, praise God. Um, it says, the it says again, the
the college provides bedding and linens. But how we know? Mm. Mm. I mean, yeah. How, mm. Well, knowing Miss Peanut, if I if I supply her with her pillow as well as a blanket, she'll sleep on top of their stuff. She won't get in because she she does she barely gets in her own bed. Um, says dorms are separated by gender and roommates are assigned randomly. Um, each floor has a dorm monitor to ensure students are in their assigned room each night and abide by the code of conduct. There is an 11 p.m. curfew every night. Praise God for that. <laughs> says, see you at camp. So, yeah, I'm trying to decide which, um... I'm also trying to decide which suitcase for her to take. You know, I was thinking she could take the one that she normally takes when we go out of town, but I don't think that's going to be big enough. So I'm thinking, um, you know, I had an old suitcase that we had got at the thrift store, I don't know, a year or so ago, a couple years ago. I might have her take that because it's bigger and it will hold everything because, you know, she's going to be gone for, you know, all those days. So she'll have clothes for that day. But she'll need some Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? So she's got, I know I bought her five new pairs of jean shorts. And then um, she'll probably take her basketball shorts too, you know. And then at least a, a pair of jeans or something, maybe two pair. I don't know. Yeah. So I got a lot to discuss with her and think about. But y'all, I'm going to go. And uh, get this stuff all put together, put away so that she can see. Um, let me see again. Let me look. No, it does. It says that they provide tiles and washcloths, but I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna pack her own. She can choose to use it if she, you know. And I'll probably pack the Lysol for her, too, so she can spray her bed. So I'll tell her, put a mask on, spray your bed down, you know, because you never know. And then go from there. So, oh, my gosh. Um, I'm trying to decide if we're going to, because it says parents can stay for the initial beginning. And I think we could stay for lunch. We have to buy our own lunch. But I kind of want to, I kind of want to take her and go. Like, take her, drop off, and go. Um, maybe take her to her room, get her stuff put in her room, and then she can do the setup later. Um, but I don't think I want to stay for lunch just because it's time to loosen the apron string. You know what I'm saying? She's 15. So, yeah. So, this is going to be exciting, guys. Um, you know I will record some of it. I mean, I think husband's going to be with me for part of it, but, you know... At least, you know, he'll probably be with me to, in order to get her up to her room. But, um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> it's like sending her off to college without sending her off to college. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching a lot of people doing this college stuff. And I'm like, whoo, Jesus, I'm worried. I'm, I'm concerned. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. This was kind of a fun haul for me. Haven't really hauled a lot in a long time, so it was fun. Um, thanks for watching. See you on a new video. Bye, guys.